going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the new Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne Johnson, and Gal Gadot film, Red Notice. So Red Notice tells the story of Hart John Hartley, the FBI's top profiler, but after getting on a Red Notice mission, his global pursuit finds him smack dab in the middle of a daring heist where he is forced to partner with the world's most wanted art thief, Nolan Booth, played by Reynolds, in order to catch the world's most wanted art thief, the Bishop, played by Gadot. Now, I was really looking forward to this film to a certain degree. I love Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne Johnson, and Gal Gadot. Love them to death. But the trailers didn't look really appetizing to me, and it really didn't have a lot for me to care catch on to. So I went into this film moderately excited, wanting to hope that there's something a little bit deeper. I didn't want to see Shakespeare, I just wanted to have fun and enjoy my time. And to a certain degree, I enjoyed my time, I did have fun, I did laugh, and there are some great action sequences. However, when we get into the positives here, some of the negatives outweigh the positives. Essentially, I really like what they were doing in the first half of this film. It felt really fresh, it felt really unique, and it was really exciting to see Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson really show what kind of chemistry they have because we got a little bit of a taste in, in Hobbs and Shaw for that, and I really liked what they performed in that film. And this was going to be the testament of what we could expect to a certain degree. They had great chemistry, and I really enjoyed the banter between them. But, and I really like what they were doing in the first half of the film. However, once we get into the last half of the film, it does feel like it's National Treasure meets Hobbs and Shaw. There are a lot of twists and turns throughout the film that worked, and other times that it really didn't work, and it felt like they just came out of nowhere, especially towards the end of the film. However, this film is directed by Rawson Marshall Thurber, which I actually enjoyed three out of his films that he's directed. Central Intelligence, Dodgeball, and We're the Millers. I enjoyed those to death. I thought Skyscraper was alright for what it was also. However, in this film, he shows more of his Skyscraper side instead of his Central Intelligence side. Which, to me, personally, this could have been the next Central Intelligence for him. But instead, it turned out to be another Skyscraper where the story of the film didn't really mesh as well as you wanted to and it felt very convoluted towards the end. There are a lot of things that didn't make sense. Some jokes felt super flat. Some jokes really did hit. And this film, even though I love Ryan Reynolds and I love his Ryan Reynolds-isms, in this film it felt like they were really forced and it really didn't make sense to a certain degree. The chemistry between all three, fil all three of the actors in this film this is the first time we actually get to see Dwayne Johnson and Gal Gadot interact since the Fast and Furious 6. And so the chemistry between them in this film was really good. I really enjoyed it. The, the performances for the film was serviceable, was serviceable enough. I just wish we got a little bit more story. Because even though I did enjoy a lot of the action throughout the whole film. Is whenever we got to an action sequence. It really felt like it was out of nowhere. And it's... Sometimes it did feel really entertaining, it felt really exciting. When you get rattled into the kind of story that this film is, it does drag on for a little bit too long, maybe about 10 minutes, with a lot of twists and turns that you could have taken out. But overall, I thought this was a mediocre film and a mediocre fun time. I just wish we could have gotten a little bit more of the story and a little bit more of the action that made a little bit more sense. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and give Red Notice a 6 out of 10. It was mediocre fun, but I still enjoyed it to a certain degree. Some jokes landed, some jokes fell super flat, and I thought, Gadot, I thought Gal Gadot's performance to a certain degree was alright, but there are times in the film that you just want to pull her to the side and tell her, take some acting lessons, honey. Take some acting lessons. What did you guys think of Red Notice? This film is playing out in theaters for a limited time in select theaters. If you are near a theater that is playing this film, are you going to go ahead and check it out? Or are you just going to wait until it's on Netflix next week? Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think of it. And if you enjoyed this review, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Until next time, I'll catch you on Josie's Reviews.